five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Lift off to the Falcon 9. As you just saw, Falcon 9 had an on-time liftoff through the fog from point. Vandenberg Air Force Base. Approaching max Q. Vehicle is supersonic. Main engine cutoff coming up soon. This is where all nine engines of F9 will shut down. Trajectory is looking good. And there on your screen, you can see that we have visual confirmation of main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. So on the left-hand side of your screen, we'll watch the first stage as it begins its return back to Vandenberg Air Force Base. On the right-hand side of your screen, you can see the second engine as it begins to carry the three radar sat satellites to sun-synchronous orbit. So boost back burn has begun. There you just saw fairing deployment. It's a pretty cool shot of the fairing flying away. So in order for stage the first stage to make its way back to landing zone one at Vandenberg Air Force Base, uh, it has to execute a series of three burns. The first, which you just saw, is what we call the boost back burn. And that helps to slow the rocket down and orient it for entry. Shortly after this, um, the grid fins, which you see right there, uh, articulating as they help steer the rocket back to Vandenberg, uh, those are deployed to help guide the rocket during its descent. Speed one, landing, burn is started. landing burn has begun. Due to the fog, we might lose the video as it touches down, but stay tuned. It's a little bit more clearly this time. Falcon 9 has landed at landing zone 1 back at Vandenberg Air Force Base. And there on your screen, you can see visual confirmation of the first of three set, uh, payload deployments. We are not launching these 1, 2, 3 in rapid succession. They are spaced out a little bit by a few minutes each. Deploy and there on your screen, you can see that we have successfully deployed the second of three of the RadarSat satellites. As I mentioned earlier, today's payloads will be delivered to sun-synchronous orbit. Sun-synchronous orbits travel over the Earth's poles as the planet rotates underneath, and that allows the satellites to pass over a particular section of Earth at the same time each day we were able to successfully deploy all three of the RadarSat Constellation satellites. We would like to thank the device. U.S. Air Force for range support and the FAA for licensing today's launch. We'd also like to thank all our viewers for tuning in. Follow our website and social media platforms for updates on our next missions and milestones. Until next time, have a great day.